All right, so we're back to work. It's first day after the show and everything. So what we got going on here, we got our, our other duel for the 718. We're gonna get it off the trailer and just kind of put it to the side. We was gonna put it on this morning, but I'm not gonna be using the rubber tire today. We, the, the guy that was gonna come help me cut, I misunderstood him and he's not gonna be here till a couple more days, so. What we're gonna do here, we're just gonna get the tire off the loader, or off the trailer, and uh, put it to the side, and then probably Thursday-ish, we'll uh, see about putting it on the machine because I got a cold front coming in. It's gonna be nicer to work on stuff. It ain't so hot and muggy like it is right now. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, <laughs> I'm surprised that thing didn't float. Like I said, it's our first day back to work. So, I ain't got enough bucket to get in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we ended up, y'all remember I was telling y'all I thought we were going to shoot for like six inches of rain. Well, we got eight inch, eight and a half, eight and a half inches of rain, ain't it what we come up with? eight and a half inches of rain and uh we're actually gonna con uh track cutter sitting down there i come out yesterday after the show and kind of looked over things and and cut a little bit and the ground actually feels decent it's wet but decent it's workable so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna we're gonna try and finish cutting this we got about two maybe three days left here and we're gonna try and, and get this track knocked out where we don't got to come back here to this particular track and uh we'll be done so anyway that's our game plan we're gonna get busy working and see how much of this wet mud hole we can get cut because i mean y'all look there's it's just it's just water 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 kelly gonna have to swim to get his pole saw out from underneath the loader had to build us a trench i guess whenever they cut this over here and built that little road in there they shoved some dirt into this ditch over here and y'all can see where it was coming from mickey's loader and it was damming up right here where i got that dirt pushed back now and it's running across the road we got her i think we got her channeled channeled down where she needs to be in the ditch so maybe mickey won't have to swim around his loader see a snake There's fish in there. Huh. There ain't no telling after eight and a half inches of rain. finish picking these couple of piles up right here and uh he might add some of that into this but anyway what we do for those of y'all that are new to the channel this is why we run the track cutters down here doing a thinning operation we take our wood and i do my down row i cut my down row out of the middle i thin my left side going in as y'all can see placing the wood you know over here and over here and i keep building those what we call tiers of wood in the down row and you keep your tops and everything you see i got my butts right here my butts are tied up to my main mat in my access this is my access running this way and we run our, our main access and then tie everything in and then you can see this i don't know if y'all can really see i'm trying to 
I'm on the GoPro, so it's hard to see. But anyway, right here where these, you see you got your butts, and where those tops stop, I kind of got them overlapped a little bit. You kind of overlap your tops to about a, a, you know, a three inch top size or so in this type of ground. You'll get them as big as a, a 12 ounce Coke can size. But you overlap them or keep them close together where it's just a solid line of wood, layer of wood all the way down through there. I did spin around behind and show y'all what it looks like behind me. We're gonna watch Michael, here he is back again. And this is why we run our duels and everything else. You see how the tires just grab on the wood and do what needs to be done. If you were not matting this, you would not be working right now. You would. If you were trying to just get this right off top of the ground, you'd done be foresters out here and literally executed you for this. Or for that, not for this. So this, it preserves the ground. Yeah, it makes it a little sloppy, but you're not really doing anything, you know, you're not leaving any root structure damage. Or anything like that you're not tearing anything up so to speak it looks like damn it but everything comes out good you can't pull as big a drag as normal because the machine wants to walk from side to side with you he's going to, have to reposition himself cleaning this row up but he would grab just a little bit more than that I mean this ground's pretty wet y'all can see the the sloppy water mess down through there if I had to go walk down through there it's it's probably ankle deep and just straight water over me um, I'm gonna spin around and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like before he skids the road all right, so now this is this is a good example of what it looks like before he starts skidding on it when I get done cutting it because the tracks are on wood you're on wood over here you see how you got your tops kind of tied together a little bit there uh, you can't really see it the wood over here on this side is it, it is there it's just kind of mushed down the ground a little bit and as I'm coming back out I'm cutting in like I said I'm, I'm thinning in are down rowing in and thinning this left side going in then as I come back any bare spots or uh, you know spots that don't have wood or spots that feel kind of soggy or spongy I lay it over here to give you some extra foundation if it all feels pretty good I just try and finish filling the mat in for him as y'all see was done right here like right here I didn't have enough to finish this middle runner uh, and this side felt a little bit weaker. So y'all can see this is where I throwed my last, because you see the, the green tops right there that ain't been run over yet. So I laid my my last head full of the down row right here. Uh, and then if he needs some, he'll, he'll actually add some back to this. Uh, and the way he'll do that is he'll go to the end of this down row down here and grab uh, eight, 10 pieces, bring it up here and place it where it needs to be placed. He'll heal it around with the skitter and everything else. but. Yeah, that's a, that's a crash course in, in shovel thinning, and that's what we're doing today. That's what we're, uh, that's what we're known for, so hopefully y'all enjoy it.
because there's fixing to be a lot of it, I guess. <laughs> but all out through there, it's just it's just solid water, just about. All right, so we're gonna watch him. He's gonna build that over there. It looks like. Y'all can see it's getting pretty wet right here. We've got a really, really, really wet hole. Y'all just missed it. He was just building his access up out there. Maybe I thought he was, that's what he was going to do. Maybe that's what he's going to do with those couple pieces right there. tedious process and most people aren't going to do what you got to do to make this work right because they think I mean it it is in a way costing you money but that's just how you have to work where we're at because if, if you're not willing to do this you're just going to be sitting at home some people will say well that's better than doing that mess and yeah okay to a degree yeah you may be right but uh figure out how to do it right you still make money all right let's see where he sticks this one so you see how that right side back tire fell off in that hole he really needs to fill that hole in i kind of feel that's what he's fixing to do but i'm not a hundred percent sure yeah that's what it looks like anyway all right, so what you do is you back that wood all the way up against your... Oh, it's got a pin squeaking on that thing. Anyway, you back it all the way up against that rack. I guess he's going to go in that hole right there with it. Now he's really trying to do that with too much wood. He's going to split it. He's trying to get it to come up. He wants it to go in that hole I was just talking, telling y'all about. I'm not sure he's going to get enough there. He's going to get it up. Maybe he's just trying to fill on that, that mat on up right there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to call him to stop, and I'm going to get him to go down that road and get a drag of wood, half a drag of wood, and bring it up here. And I'll end up placing it with this, uh, with the 853. It's going to be the most efficient thing to do, and I'll let y'all ride with me while we do that.